brushes. So many people when they start painting in watercolour, they don't know where to start. I remember I didn't know where to start and I thought, oh gosh, what paints do I use? What paper? What brushes do I use? And there's a huge array of different product out there. So what I did, I spoke to Shemenka, who are the um, paint company that I use. I love Shemenka paints. They're very dense. They're actually quite economical because you use such a small amount of pigment. And the brushes. I've always used Da Vinci brushes because they're superb to use. I think when you're painting, a lot of the success of the painting is the pleasure that you've had along the way. And I make myself, well I make it easier for myself by using the best products that I can. And they're not necessarily the most expensive, but they, for me, suit what I'm doing so ideally. Now, the Da Vinci brushes that I use uh, this one here actually was created um, specifically for the type of work that I do. This is a Da Vinci, it's a series 44 and it's a number 3. This is a, a beautiful um, sable brush and you can see that it's got a different ferrule from most brushes. It's absolutely beautiful. Can you imagine this lovely wide barrel soaks up all the water and pigment and just allows me to deliver it at the speed and um, level that I, I want to. You have so much control with that brush, it's, it's wonderful. Also too with the fantastic point, you can paint very very finely right up to large washes so it's, it's a brush that I couldn't be without. This one here, this is a Da Vinci Maestro and this is a series uh, 11 and this is the number 6. When wet, it, you'll see that it has the absolutely beautiful point that the other brushes have as well. It's a wonderful brush. It's, it's great for getting into finer areas, but ones that you probably want less of a barrel for um, if you want to create a, um, a small amount of liquid in here, you have a lot of control over that with that particular brush. Also another side, another series 11 is this number 2 brush. It's also a, a Da Vinci Maestro, another sable brush. These are beautiful brushes. Now Two brushes that I couldn't be without are what I call my scrubbies. This is a series 122 and I have two of them because as I said they're absolutely invaluable. And I do tend to use them for lifting so therefore um, after several paintings I need to replace them. So I always have two on hand. I've got a size 2 and a size 4. They're great for lifting, they're great for softening edges, they are brilliant if you uh, drop a brush on your painting and you want to lift some of that pigment back out they, they are good for so many things so as I said something that's really well worth having. Now if I'm doing really large washes maybe a background I also use the uh, what a series is this? This is series 5080. It's a wonderful hair on this brush it's a synthetic. It um, has a nice spring I can put large washes of clear water and then pick up my colours and throw in my, my um, variety of colours and let them all float in together and you can get around a painting quite quickly so you really need a larger brush to be able to get a large amount of painting done in one go. This, color, this brush is absolutely beautiful for that so um, have a look at those. You can also get these in a set. This is a signature set with the signature set comes this beautiful leather pouch. The pouch has actually got my name embossed in it which is rather nice and the inside of the pouch isn't leather it is a vinyl which of course you would need to have because your brushes are going to be wet sometimes when you put them in there so leather is not good to have on the inside but it just gives that sumptuous feel to the outside. It makes a fabulous travel pouch and it's, it's just wonderful for throwing in your suitcase or taking out in the field. Keeps your brushes together. 
Now the wonderful thing about this set is that it is all that you will ever need as far as brushes are concerned. As I said, I change these probably every maybe eight to ten paintings. The other ones, with care, they will last you a lifetime. They're a very good investment. So if you're interested in, in any of the products that I use, I don't make anything on the products. There's no financial gain for me. I just want to be able to present something to you all that um, you know, a list of things that I use so that it can fast track you to actually getting on and painting rather than spending lots of time trying to deliberate what products you're going to use. And before we go, let's just talk about the paper that I use. I use Arsh Hot Pressed 300 GSM and I do stretch it. I will be doing a, a short DVD like this on stretching paper too, so watch out for that. Mm -hmm.